Big story this morning, the number of new coronavirus cases remains low in our state. Almost 19% of Arizonans are now fully vaccinated and more than 30% have received at least their first dose. In total, 3.4 million doses have been given to Arizonans. As new cases remain low, Governor Ducey is easing more restrictions in our state. Team 12's Jen Wall joins us live now from State Farm Stadium in Glendale. Jen, good morning. Uh, what is the governor's latest executive order? Yeah, good morning to you, Rachel and Mitch. So really good to hear about the drop in cases here across Arizona. And one of the reasons for that is all of the vaccines that we are seeing across the state, including right here in Glendale at State Farm Stadium. There has been a steady stream of traffic throughout the morning, and this is just like every other morning that we've been live out here in Glendale. And when it comes to Governor Ducey's new executive order, he's now removing restrictions on elective surgeries. Hospitals have to meet certain criteria criteria like a two week supply of PPE and testing patients for COVID before surgeries. DHS then has to approve hospitals and facilities meeting that criteria. And remember, elective surgeries were first suspended about one year ago when the pandemic started to hit Arizona. Kind of hard to believe there. And there are also big changes on the way when it comes to getting a vaccine. Some state run sites are reducing their hours starting this weekend as temperatures start to heat up, unfortunately, here around Arizona. And the Chandler Gilbert Community College location will stop its operations this weekend, moving to an indoor spot in Southeast Mesa and opening there on Monday. And we do have details on our website, 12 newscom and a reminder for anyone still waiting for a vaccine. More appointments are opening up for state run sites at 11 o'clock this morning. So get on the Arizona Department of Health Services website and you guys, you know, you got to do that really fast. Those appointments go quickly. We also have more info on 12news.com. For now, we're live in Glendale, Jen Wall, Today in AZ.